Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be reviewing some products by Miss Jessie's. These to be more specific. Um, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn the bell to get notified whenever I post. So I've never used Miss Jessie's ever. Actually, no, I did. I used the most high cultural curls when I was transitioning, but only like twice. Um, but I've besides that, I've never used any other products. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be the first time. These products I got, I got these two because they're the shampoo and the conditioner. And then the this one right here, um, someone on my Instagram, most people on my Instagram told me to try it out, to review it. And then I just decided to buy more than one. So I also got the jelly, uh, whoa, this is jelly soft curls. I also got the, um, pillow soft curls and the multicultural curls again. So, for this video, I'm going to re be reviewing specifically the shampoo, the conditioner. Half of my hair is going to only have honey curls. And the other half is going to have honey curls and jelly soft curls. Because I want to compare the amount of hold between, like, the products, you know? We're going to start off with the shampoo. So, the shampoo is the... So that's the shampoo. I'm just gonna throw it over there. Perfect. So then we have the creme de la creme. Um, it says the best dark conditioner period. Um, and it says natural curls, natural curls, natural curls, natural curls, natural curls. This has no, I can't pronounce this. No phylates, no mineral oil, no petroleum, no sulfates, no animal ingredients, and no animal testing. Um, I'll check the shampoo again to see. I honestly don't know if it's that or not. Um, directions. I really like like the packaging of these. It looks like so like 80s. Like if you guys, oh my god, if you guys watch the Netflix show Hollywood, the, I don't know why, but these products remind me just like of that time period. Okay, so now, boom, I threw it. Okay, so the Jelly Soft Curls is a gel. The Honey Curls, the best darn honey, see, but I don't know if it's a gel. I'm gonna assume this is a gel. So, scratch that plan. We're doing a new plan. Half of my hair is gonna have only the honey curls, and half of my hair is gonna have only the jelly soft curls. And we're gonna compare them to see which is better on my 3B 3C medium low porosity hair. On the honey curls, it's no mineral oil, no petroleum, no gluten, no sulfates, no silicones, no dia. I don't know what that is. No parabens, no animal test testing, and no paraffins. Nice. Um, and this one is no mineral oil, no paraffins, no artificial colors, no animal ingredients, no petroleum, no sulfates, no phylates, phylates, yeah, no, and no animal testing. Um, this is like, my band-aid's coming off. This is like the five hair, so it looks absolutely crazy. So I'm going to hop in the shower and then give you my review when my hair is drying and then when it's dry.
All right, guys. So I'm gonna do the um oh the gels now. Um, and then I'll give my review on each product after I apply the gel. So it took <laughs> so I can like start drying and stuff. So I'm just gonna split my hair in half. Let's make sure this is even or as even as it's gonna get. All right, this is my hair. It's got really long. This is my hair. So now let me take off the scrunchie on my wrist. So on this side, I'm gonna use honey curls, and on this side, I'm gonna use jelly soft curls. So that would be a cute thumbnail. Be like, okay. Um. <laughs> so let's see. Ooh, it's very thick. Wow. It's like honey. It smells very good. Oh my god. It smells like honey, but also smells like hair products. Like, if that makes sense. But it smells really good. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go wash my hands to make sure there's no other of the Honey Curls product on my hand. And then I'm going to do Jelly Soft Curls on this side. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so now it's time for Jelly Soft Curls. It smells good. But I don't know what it smells like. I think I have like a mess of milk because it happens very often. It smells really good, but don't know what it smells like, so let's see. Um, I'm really weird, sorry. Alright, now it's time for my review on the conditioner and the shampoo. So, I'll start off with the shampoo. You saw my face, like, I know you saw my face. I was like so confused. So like, at first, I thought it was like maybe you had to like shake it or something. Because it was literally like slime. Like, you know that slime that, it comes in like a little jar. And it's very gooey, but you can't break it. Yeah, that's exactly what this was like. It was gooey and you couldn't break it. So I shook it up. Maybe it was maybe I was like maybe the ingredients got separated or whatever. Shook it up. It was the same thing. So I honestly like don't like this product because I put it in my hair. It didn't go into my hair, it just sat on top of it. And it took so long to get it out. Like that has to be have been the longest like shower video I've ever done. It took so long to get out. And I like didn't even feel like it was all out until after I took the conditioner out. So I don't like this product. Um I can rate the scent, I guess. Um look, you can you literally see it. It's not even getting off of the top. It smells fine, but like I don't like the product itself. So yeah. Um I felt like if it I felt like it did have like a little bit of slip, but I don't know if that was just because it was slimy or what. But I felt like if it wasn't as like stuck together, it would have been fine. And it would have like gone into my hair. But it just sat on top of it. It didn't really do anything. So yeah, next we have the kind of the creme. I really like this product actually. Um I love the scent, this one was really good. Um, I love the consistency and it did have slip. I felt like it was a little harder for me to detangle because of the shampoo rather than because of the slip of this conditioner. So I'll definitely rate this conditioner a 9 out of 10. Um, if it was a little more watery, um, I would probably rate it a 10 out of 10 because it is a little thick for my hair. But it's okay. It still did the job. And after that shampoo, I would like to say it worked wonders. So yeah. 
So I'm gonna come back when my hair is dry. Don't forget, this is the Honey Curls and this is the Jelly Soft Curls. So yeah. All right guys, we are back. So just like before fluffing it out, you can see that my curls are defined on both sides. Um, I feel like the Jelly Soft Curls may be a tad crunch, oh wait, no. The Honey Curls may be a tad crunchier than the Jelly Soft Curls, but I'm gonna fluff it out and then we're gonna really see what the results are. And as you guys know, I'll be using my favorite Righteous Roots oil. So yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm loving the volume on both sides. Wow, okay. All right. So let's see. Let's go a little. I don't want to get too close to the camera. Um, I'm gonna have to say that the honey curls is definitely giving me a little more definition, but it's also bringing my curls down a little bit in the front. Um, my jelly curls give me more volume on this side. Um, it's still a little crunchy in the honey curls, though. I don't know why. Let me keep fluffing it out and then we'll see because I don't know why it's still like crunchy after I fluffed it out. This side, jelly curls is not crunchy. Um, the definition is there on both sides, not gonna lie. And the, bleh, the volume is good on both sides. Let's off it a little more, but it's okay. Um, the, what's the other one? Oh yeah, the moisturization. Um, I feel like both sides are moisturized. The Jelly Soft Curls definitely, my hair feels more fluffier. And with the Honey Curls, my hair feels more crunchier. But obviously, as the day goes by, they're going to both be fluffy. But, yeah, I feel like if you need like a tighter hold, do the Honey Curls. If you need a softer hold, do the Jelly Soft Curls. But I definitely love both of these products because my hair looks amazing. So, yeah, I love both of the products. Why is it so dark in here? That's really bright. This way. Um, yeah, I love both of the products. Um, like I said, more hold, less hold. So it is bringing down some of my curls a little bit over here, but it's okay. Um, more volume, less volume. Um, yeah, and they both give my hair moisture and a tad more definition, a little less definition. Um, so yeah, definitely if it's like humid, definitely go with the honey curls. If it's more of a like spring, folly day, definitely go with jelly soft curls. Um, Right now, while in quarantine, so I really don't think it matters, but it's fine. Um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, just comment down below. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell so you're notified whenever I post. Oh, wait, before I end, I'm just gonna say that there's going to be another video comparing multicultural curls and pillow soft curls. So, yeah.